one thing we can I would want to discuss is Gravity Falls ended this week. Oh shit! I, yeah. See, I never watched Gravity Seriously. Falls, yeah. but I, I, I really, really want always, to. It yeah. looks really appealing. Gravity Falls is great. It's so good. I feel like it's the type of humor that I would enjoy. There's yeah, it there they, it pokes fun of itself a lot. It's it's really really fucked up. Yo. It's like there's there's some there's some things in there that I'm like I would be afraid right now as a child. Like just it, it's played for humor and it's not like super scary, but there are like little tiny moments like. I don't even want to describe it because it's kind of spoilerish, I guess, for like the end of season one. There's only two seasons, but um, really, I feel like that show's been out for a while. It's been out. It they the it's it's two seasons over the course of like four years. Because like the way the way the animated shows usually run is they it's like it's not regular like scheduled mm-hmm. episodes. Um, so I, I think it ends up being like forty to fifty episodes altogether, okay. twenty minute episodes. It, it's really good. It, it's really good. They um. It peppers in the mythology in the beginning, and then at, like the last half season two is just like all at once, and like you'll start an episode and you're like, oh, this is an episode about this, and then it turns out being something totally different. Really, like like building into the overall arc of everything. That's cool. I love. Is that. it like 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 regular show and like Adventure Time? How it has like a, a fixed storyline sort of type type of thing? And I I mean I, I've only seen like the early or is it regular like show. each, but, each no, regular, episode is like well, regular, regular show. show is like a different story every episode. It's yeah. just them they get into like a new and, thing. I feel like yeah. Adventure Time is kind of the same, but like it you know, is. Gravity Falls is it was always intended to be a set story. So like you don't know what the story is until later in the show, but there's hints of it in episode one. Like like there's like oh what what's that character doing? And then you find out like season two episode mm-hmm. fifty whatever. That's that's not an accurate episode number, but. You know what I mean? So like, there like there's a set story, and the creator always intended it to run, maybe not two seasons, but it's the kids go visit their their great uncle in the summer in this town called Gravity Falls, and the the series is always intended to be that summer that they visit right. their their uncle, um, and that's all it is. It when the summer's over, the series is over. That's when it that's when it ended. Um, so it is a set story, and you can see that like there are hints of things, there's recurring characters. They don't introduce too much because they don't want to go overboard. There's not really too many lingering plot lines. All the characters get arcs, even if they're kind of like underserved and like right, yeah. like periphery characters. So they explain it, every character. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, like it, it, it's still a cartoon. It's still you know like intended for kids. So it doesn't have that much depth. Like people give it a little bit more credit than than it, I guess it should get because there is a lot of jokes that are like that eh, for kids. But it has a very appealing overarching story. The characters is it kind of like that funny. old Ben Ten show. Kind of, yeah, I would say it was like that, except they kind of milked that for more than it was. Oh, they milked that. They for, milked Ben Ten to fucking if ben shit. Ten, if Ben Ten ended at some point, I would say it was like Ben Ten. Okay. There's, there's a lot of there's. They, I mean, there's one episode where um, one guy comes in, an adult, and says, "How would you watch that show's intended for kids?" Another character goes, "Listen, there's a lot of adult humor in that show, and there's some mysteries that that are really great. Like it's like it directly like parodies the the Gravity Falls." Um, right. But yeah. I know the creator said he never intended it to like last that long because he didn't think kids would like it. Like the mystery element, like one thing that that shows that it was super intended for adults was at the end of every episode, um, there's like codes at the end, uh-huh. like that if you go and pick through the episode, you can decipher them through like, co- really? like clues in the episode, and they're super easy at first, but nothing kids would pick up on because kids aren't looking for codes to decipher right. in the show. Yeah, and then by like season two, they were like super complex and like. People people took forever to finish like like that's forever cool. in terms of the internet. That's I love that. I love wow. when creators get like creative. Like yeah, that. um, <laughs> that's weird to say. Yeah, um, but, yeah but uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, and he's he's really cool. The creator Alex Hirsch. He does a lot of the voices. He does the main villain. Um, yo, and uh, Uncle Stan. Yo, great. fun fact: the uh, creator of Gravity Falls and the creator of a cartoon that's near and dear to my heart, and it's one of the only American-made cartoons that I follow: Rick and Morty are bros and i think they went to the same school i actually think they might have been roommates and yeah and uh, uh college, college for animation if i'm i might i'm probably wrong but i think i heard that somewhere i think um but I yeah think... they're buds and they all made their own it was the creator of rick and morty the creator of gravity falls and creator of another show that i can't think of right now but they all have this like archer no, it wasn't Archer. I don't think so. But they all have... They're, they're all friends. So, like, it was this... And you mentioned codes. So, it was this... Apparent, according to, like, interviews that I've seen at, like, panels and stuff, it was a thing where the creator of Gravity Falls and the creator of Rick and Morty would put, like, like a code in their show. And the creator of Rick and Morty did it in a certain episode. It's the episode where Rick... I think it's the last episode of season one where Rick throws a party. Mm-hmm. And 
uh, there's a guy with like rainbow suspenders and he's walking out and there's like a code on his shirt and apparently that code's supposed to mean something. It's like half a code. And then you'd have to watch Gravity, Gravity Falls, Falls cool. and you do like complete the code. Really? But I think the creator of Gravity Falls forgot about it, <laughs> so he never did it. But and then I'm pretty sure in season two of Rick and Morty, there's a part where like a notepad and like a mug go yeah. into a portal. And then there's an episode of Gravity Falls where there's a portal on the wall and a cup. Yeah. and a notebook like fall I, I out think of that's it. cool it's like, yeah. it's, it's like these cool tie-ins portals play a big role in Gravity Falls um, and the voice acting is fucking is fucking awesome uh, J.K. Simmons plays one of the main characters later on in the show I love J.K. Simmons great. he's, he's a, a what are the main characters name again is one of those Meredith uh, Mabel Mabel and Kristen and... Shaw plays <laughs> uh, her which is Kristen Shaw's great um, I, I don't know if, if you'd recognize anything she's done but she's really great uh, she plays in Last Man on Earth it was a great it was a great comedy on Fox um. Yeah, it's 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 really good. Uh, I was just about to mention something. I think I think the creator of Gravity Falls is friends with the creator of Steven Universe, which is also a great that's show. another. Show. I think that that's might have great. been the show She's, because they're also girl, they're also I don't know if that fact similar. Is. Yeah, that if Steven Universe is, is awesome too. It's it's shorter. It's like when I first episodes. saw it, I was like, this show is so like. Yo, there's one thing about Steven Universe that like catches my eye, and that's the backgrounds. Like the artwork for the oh, yeah, backgrounds is colorful. Nice. The music colorful. is amazing. Oh, also Gravity music. Falls is great because the fucking theme song. See, so is Steven Universe. So the only reason why I know about the music of uh, Steven Universe is because there is a guy on YouTube named uh, Caleb Hiles, and I like his. He does covers of like Disney things. He does covers of like pop songs. I don't really like the pop songs, but you know, it's his thing. And uh, he also does covers of like Gravi- of uh, Steven Universe uh. and like other video game stuff. And he did a fucking I hate this guy. <laughs> and he fucking he he did uh, covers of Steven Universe songs, and they're really good. And I really like them. 